I saw that Senator Ron Johnson, who, well, he was someone who thinks that Trump won the election in 2020, but things aside, he was removed from YouTube because he was sharing misinformation about, well, COVID-19, and they banned him because he was sharing misinformation, and that's a bad thing to do, and this guy is either a grifter, or he's someone who is completely manipulated by misinformation, right? We see this in his actions. So how would someone like this be less likely to be controlled by misinformation? This reminds me of an experience I had when I was in middle school where myself and a bunch of other kids are in an auditorium. We're learning about helmet safety from one of the older siblings of our middle school's class. And this guy, high schooler, apparently had a coma because he fell off his skateboard and hit his head. So he was skating down a, like this large hill that I grew up on and falls off a skateboard, slides for some 30 feet, leaving behind blood and flesh, hits his head on a speed bump or on a curb, and then goes into a coma. Now his friends were there and saw this happen and they explained that apparently he then tried to get comfortable to fall asleep by like making a little pillow out of his hands and laying down. And so clearly they're all panicking because they just watch this guy smash his head and then he's trying to fall asleep in the center of the road. So the student then goes on to show us a PowerPoint presentation of himself in a coma with feeding tubes in his face, with him coming out of the coma and learning to walk again by holding himself up on parallel bars, doing his damnedest to be able to get his feet to listen. That was an extremely powerful experience to convince me, as well as my other fellow students, the importance of wearing a helmet. Here's you go. Pussy, I you love good? helmets. Yeah. I love helmets. It was inoculating us against the idea that wearing a helmet is uncool. So even if we think it is uncool, we will think logically about the whole keeping the brains inside the skull situation if we were to fall and hit our head. Now this concept is something that's been shared on things like PubMed. Dispelling the illusion of invulnerability, the motivations and mechanisms of resistance to persuasion. This is a set of studies that are all focusing on the idea that if a person realizes that they can be manipulated, that their attitudes are influenceable, then they're more likely to check their feelings and think about where their opinions come from. They also do experiments like this with video games where you play a person who's trying to manipulate other people into spreading your message. Video games, message spreading, what could this be like? Dark Souls 3. If you've ever played this game, Dark Souls 3 gamifies misinformation. You're gonna be a little adventurer walking around and finding a message that says jump, and if you believe that message, you're gonna go off and get hurt. But sometimes those messages are true. Well, they'll say, secret path ahead, and you'll discover that in fact there is a secret path ahead, and that in fact it brings you to a whole new character and way to play the game that you would not have realized if it wasn't for another player who somehow figured this out. This is the lesson here. These players are discovering that they can learn and get truth, but they also can get lies. So the players learn to check the source, to check ahead, to see. You don't just walk across something immediately. You check by shooting the ground or throwing out a little stone or by being skeptical. It can be true, but you gotta check ahead of time. It's similar to the idea of wearing a helmet. If you realize that your head can be splat, you could realize that your attitudes could be influenced in the same way. So the senator can kind of wear a helmet and protect themselves, right? They could have their attitudes be less influenced if they were aware that their attitudes could be influenced. If you accept the fact that you are mortal and can get your head splat, you wear the helmet. If you accept that you're mortal and have your opinions influenced, then you're less likely to fully commit to anything because you'll resist and you'll research and you'll check it first. So take a lesson from people wearing helmets and accept the fact that sometimes we're gonna be influenced against our will. So shoot the ground first with an arrow, be sure, check.